until someone hit us head on. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Side by Side Guys Off Road Podcast. I'm Big Z, and we're here at UTV Takeover Coos Bay 2021 with some friends of ours that you've all gotten to know and love. We got BJ Leach from Addiction Power Sports, Morning. and we have White Hastings, the youth prodigy short course racer himself. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Doing great, man. Uh, so we're back in Coos Bay, Oregon. Uh, we did some podcasts here last year. Uh, it was a good time, and so it was good enough. We did it in Utah and saw some of you guys out there as well, and, and now we're back in, in Oregon this year, earlier in the year, uh, which is nice. Um, so avoid some of that rain that we had last year. That was a pretty messy uh, messy time. Yeah, it was a mess out here for sure. I think everybody's tents got tossed into uh, everybody else's vendor space. You know, We had to go find our tents in the morning. Yeah, there was actually some tents out in the bay on Saturday. Oh, no. Like the whole vendor row there, or the food trucks, all their tents flew off. So Damn. it was pretty epic. So anyways, we're back out in Coos Bay. Um, BJ, you got, your, you got your whole crew here. Pretty much the whole shop's here, aren't they? Yeah, we shut the store down. You know, it's a local event. It's big enough. I mean, this place houses what? I don't How many people do they expect to have this year? Do you know? Uh, 10 to 15. Yeah, so it's, yeah. It's, a, it's a big event. And with 10 to 15,000, not 10 to 15. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know. So there's realistically the majority of the people that would even come to our shop are here so right with that being said you know it's it's it makes sense for us just to shut it down bring the whole team bring all of our service guys so that way we can help repair and keep people going do some installs on you right. know, aftermarket product and and so you guys actually have your full inventory and everything but you also have your service techs here so they can actually get on-site installs of those things that they're buying from exactly you. so it's almost kind of like a reunion of sorts of, of you and your customers and and getting together and having kind of a big party yeah yeah, yeah, it's a good time, man. It's uh, you know, it, the more events we go to and throughout the years, you know, it, it's almost like a family. You know, you come back and you're just excited to see all the different vendors and all the people that come back year to year, and uh, it, it is nice. You know, just a big Dune family is what it feels like. You know. Yeah, and, and that's kind of what uh, we've been trying to communicate is, like, there's so much camaraderie between not only the vendors themselves that see each other at all these shows, but yeah. but even the community that supports them and, and comes and buys their stuff and, and wants to come out to these events and support who they know and who they, you know, are willing to put their money into, right? Like, they're not just sending it off to China or whatever. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and Wyatt, you're out. Uh, you came out last year. was your first year. Yep. Um, we talked a little bit before on our podcast about, you know, your first experience, and then you went to Utah. And you went to just those two, right? Yeah, just Utah and yeah. Oregon. And so this year you're going to, uh, we're coming here, obviously. Yep. And then we're going to, uh, I'm going to Virginia, but you're going to Oklahoma, Oklahoma. and yep. then to um, Utah, Utah again. Yep. So uh, you've been out on the sand, both of you, a little bit, at least for one ride, right? Yeah. And yep. I think you've been out a few times. Yep. Um, what are you guys noticing in the dunes? Is what, What's different from the last time you were here? It's raining. <laughs> well, it's not raining. Heavy misting. It's misting. <laughs> it's, it's just a kiss from the sea. <clears throat> yeah, no doubt. No, it's, uh, you know, I don't know what it, it, it was actually pretty smooth, you know, the, the yeah. sand wasn't all beat up and choppy, you know, so I don't know if it was just the, the high heat that they had last week and, and with that and the wind, it smoothed everything off for us. So the sand felt really nice. It was smooth and. Yeah. So when, when I got here Saturday, uh, it was really windy. It, it must've been 30 to 40 mile an hour oh, the whole wow. day. And then Sunday was basically the same thing. So it was just blowing all the moisture out of the sand. So oh, it was nice. Yeah. It was definitely a little bit more floaty than normally where you'd come out here after a whole summer of everybody. <laughs> like yeah. last year when we came late in the year, it already <laughs> been blown out and, and then rained on. So it just stuck to where, wherever it landed. And, um, exactly. Now you've been out, you've been on the, on the three wheeler. What do you got going on there? Nah, it's about to blow up. <laughs> so it's about to blow up. Yeah. Oh it, no. It's clunking, <laughs> but it was fun when I had it out there. It wasn't so soft. You can just drift around everywhere and. I was spinning donuts around the little trees and whatnot they got out got <laughs> there. So you, your dad and you kind of rebuilt an entire uh, little ATC. Is it a, is it a 70? Or yeah, it's it? an ATC 70, just long framed. Yeah, you guys stretched it out. Yeah. Your dad welded it all up and fab it up? Uh, he had one of his, bu or no, he's bought everything for it, really. It's okay. been all, I don't know where he's bought it from. But <laughs> did all that. And then we didn't even have a motor in there from the start with, so we put a little SSR 125 motor in there. Oh, gotcha. Well, it seemed to rip pretty good. Yeah. First year, yeah. <laughs> Once it got out of 
Connor is here. <laughs> oh, bogging. Gotcha. Well, you got to keep it running at least for one race on the on the course. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> see what I can do. <laughs> so, uh, what are you guys looking forward to? We got a lot of events uh, this week going on. What are kind of your favorite things to, to look forward to? I mean, obviously, you're you're more involved than than BJ is typically. But you last year you won Hick- Hillfest, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> Did you see how he said that? He was like, yeah. Nah. Well, no, I was really surprised because, uh, you know, I'd broken some ribs, you know, a couple nights prior. I broke a few ribs up my arm. I playing around on the little bikes, you know, get on the kids' quads, and we like to rip around up at camp. And uh, I flopped the thing over, and the rock jabbed me in the armpit oh, and broke right. a couple ribs. So it was pretty painful. So I just went out in the dune car. I wasn't even in the race car on Hillfest, and I was just – some little kid asked me if he could ride. I'm like, yeah, have you got a helmet? I was wondering who care. that was because on the video, it showed, I saw that little kid. I was like, I don't. It was one of Ruslan's He doesn't have buddies. a little buddy. <laughs> yeah, Ruslan came over and he's like, hey, dude, can my friend ride with you? And I'm like, well, if it's cool, this dad, and he's got a helmet, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I never expected to win. We were just out there just to go play, you know? Yeah, you and Brandon were like within like, I think maybe six seconds, if that. That's yeah, crazy. It was pretty close. It's a fun course. Yeah. So uh, for those that haven't ever been to take over Oregon, Hillfest is a course set up on the side of a dune where there's some trees that have grown out of it. Yeah. And you start at the base and you kind of go up at like almost like a 45 and then you do a hairpin and shoot down under the trees. Yeah. Do another hairpin, go up through the trees, hairpin down through the trees and then back up. And uh, it doesn't sound complicated, but when the rut's as tall as your hood yeah. and you're going at it full speed trying to make time, you know, you can get up on two wheels pretty easy or take out your front end yeah there's a lot of rollovers at that race too yeah there's a lot of tip overs uh when they hit the corner too fast and then what i noticed was last year like i think there was like six or seven guys that just took their front knuckles right off like just yeah ball joints gone (laughs) yeah you're hitting hard coming into those hairpin corners for sure so what's uh what's one of the keys on something like that you got you would obviously just need a lot of horsepower with a turbo you got to spool up so you know going downhill that's not a problem but then you have to stop basically and do a turnaround like what, what was what was kind of the concept you took into that race oh boy Send i don't it. even i don't <laughs> even think about it yeah to be honest with you i don't really have a plan i just get out there and go as fast as i can you know without uh roll the car without rolling the car you know yeah. it's uh i've got a lot of seat time in the two seat chassis the mm-hmm. player's two seat chassis and so i kind of know the and in the car i've had that car for a while now so i mean i kind of know its limitations and yeah, uh, you and that car are pretty pretty close to being one thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know just push it as fast as i can without rolling the car yeah and good parts yeah really good parts you can't you can't go that fast into a into a berm and make a hairpin <laughs> on, yeah. on, on just oem ball joints <laughs> no so um why you're gonna be out racing all the different races we got uh some short course to do on saturday yeah, you okay. got some barrel racing things like that yep. what's going on short course barrel racing and then i'm gonna do hill fest this year as well and uh, watch out i know he's, he's coming for my for title <laughs> <laughs> i'll probably bounce around and do a couple other events just for fun here and there but those are the three main focuses so so we should have you do blind bandit and have your mom screaming at you the whole yeah, time. yeah that, that was we talked about that <laughs> <laughs> Instead of your dad. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. It's one of them. He was pretty slow last year, so Doug, <laughs> you know, you got to redeem, redeem yourself here. Um, so that's always a good one. I always tell people, like, we have tons of visitors this year coming from all over the place. We've got Southern California driving up. We've got, you know, people from the from Midwest coming through. And a lot of people coming through this year that this year is going to be probably the biggest event ever out in these dunes ever. Yeah, it's, it's already packed. Yeah, well, we were and talking last night that around the table eating tacos. Like, the event hasn't even started, and it feels like it's full of people. Yeah, for sure. So, sand camping, you know, is was like half full already. Come the day before the event, when they're supposed to show up today. Yeah. Um, so, I think it's gonna be a good turnout, and we got uh, probably eh, about eighty percent of the vendors here set up, ready to go. So, hopefully, they all kick in the get kick in the butt and come out this morning um so uh yeah are you gonna be doing huck fest this year no my shocks didn't show up on time sadly but right so you're set up for racing yeah right now and if you huck a race car that's not usually yeah a good thing. it's way too soft right now i yeah. just go straight so you did it last year out. but you only did like one jump yeah i only did one jump and i hurt <laughs> <laughs> it, it let you know where it was yeah gotcha so um you're still running your pro xp yep 
Heard you have a little more power this year? Yeah, a lot more. A lot more? <laughs> is it noticeable? Uh, yeah. Yeah, where's, awesome. the, where's all the power at? Is it at the low end, kind of in that mid-range? Uh, it's a little bit once you get to that mid-range, but right now my clutching is way, it's still stock, so we're going to have KWI take care of that, but you get right to where it starts to really boost hard, and then it just slams past that and goes to max rev limiter. Gotcha. So, so it, it just slips almost all the way to yeah. full RPM. And so, you're, uh, so that's kind of nice thing about an event like this, right? You got some vendors like KWI showing up that can do clutching on the spot. You have someone like uh, MTS uh, shocks doing valving and springing and all that kind of stuff. You got we got a dyno out here this year. Yeah, so that'll be that. cool. So if you got if you go get your car tuned up, that would be cool to see the real world performance change there. Yeah, for sure. So we got to get your green machine on that thing and oh, see shit. what it's putting down. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, and he's putting down what his is putting down. I know Andy uh, from Power Tune hooks it up. You know he tunes both of our cars. But um, that new Pro man, it's put it it's putting down big horsepower. I yeah. don't know. Did you get the final numbers off the dyno or mm, kind of? But I mean it's still slipping and We were pulling like 240. Yeah, and that's with it with still, half a clutch with it <laughs> yeah. pulling through the clutches. I mean that's impressive. Yeah, yeah, and you know that's it's noticeable when you get to that level of performance. Like when you're watching somebody race, and like I say this about Al McBeth's car all the time, like. That guy's fast, right? Like, he's a yeah. good driver. He's technical. Like, he throws it hard. Uh, but what you notice is, like, if you let him get 10 feet of straightaway, all of a sudden it becomes a rocket. Oh, that car's fast. Yeah, and he's running a Pro XP as well. Yeah. Um, but it is, when I was in Utah, um, that's that's what I... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Trevor. <laughs> um uh, that's what I noticed when he hit that straightaway on that downhill. It was just like he might as well have been doing wheelies because he was going so stinking fast. Yeah. Um, but that's where you're at now is you're going to be hitting that yeah. power band. Once that clutch is set up, you're going to be holding on for dear life when your foot goes yeah. to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was just trying to drive it really or coming from Vendor Row, and he said he couldn't even do it because once you get on the gas, all the way goes to the back. It just goes straight steer. back. Yeah. So uh, I saw, I actually saw him last night going going back to cap, and he was all hunched up in there. He got that seat pretty far forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely so, like to have full control of my pedals. Yeah. So um, yeah, uh, how's how's uh, business been the last few months with kind of the comeback to, I guess our fake normal yeah right <laughs> uh, it's been good you know all through covid it seems like um people were were getting outside and still you know using their machines and and obviously breaking them and wanting them fixed and uh hopping them up with accessories and aftermarket parts so we stayed really busy even through covid but yeah now it's it's noticeable people are getting out even more now you know that it's starting to come back to a little and the more. weather's warming up a bit too yeah exactly but um it's been good business been nice nice yeah so, again, we're at TakeOver uh, Oregon. Uh, this will be kind of a sweet, short episode. We spent probably half our time setting up this morning. <laughs> but uh, we'll be joining uh, some other athletes. We got uh, Blake Wilkie coming. We got yep. Al McBeth coming. Um, and we have Ruslan. He's out there somewhere. I saw his dad uh, out on the ride. Yeah. I, I blew past him. He was like, hey! <laughs> he's probably um, out there hucking it already somewhere. He's probably somewhere, yeah. <laughs> Uh, hopefully not in some trees. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, so yeah, join us uh, all week. We'll be posting these up uh, every day of the of the, well, as much as cell phone service will allow me to do stuff out here. <laughs> right. Um, and uh, you guys can catch up with all the great stuff as the event goes on. Make your way out here. Um, there's plenty to do. There's plenty to see. I mean, it's the Oregon dudes and the Oregon coast. You can go ride the beach. Um, Vendor ride was awesome last night until, yeah, it was fun. until someone hit us head on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Took out the, our, our lead car. Um, that guy can't get a break. Poor guy. I know. Uh, every time he comes out, he, someone takes him out. He never takes himself out. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Find us online, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all the different places that you like to enjoy. And uh, we'll see you out on the dunes. Peace.